Alright everyone, how's it going? And welcome back to the Trade in the Jar Road of Glory. If you remember last episode, I mentioned that today I would be building a new team. And that is exactly what I've done. We're in the 4-3-3 third variation, the defensive one I believe. The one with the one center mid and the two DMs. But yeah, starting off the nets, we've got a decent wee one here. 37k spent, Handanovic. Then in the right back position, it's just 81 rooted. Plain and simple, Jao Cancelo. Beside him in centre back is Benicia, paired up with Koulibaly. I got last episode an untouchable player pick, which is also quite good, saves me some coins. And then in left back, it's the informed Gulam there you just saw, cost around 40k. Then in the midfield, starting off with the two defensive mids, we've got Matuidi and Arturo Vidal. And in that centre mid spot, it's the informed Arthur from Barcelona. Then out in the right wing spot, he's back, our informed Mohamed Salah. And now going towards the striker, you can probably see where this is going. Our footmas Firmino is finally getting used. And then over left wing, it's another inform, it is Usman Dembele. And th there we have it. Obviously, it is quite an expensive team if you don't have a salad there already. But apart from that, it's around 200, 250 k, I think. Around thereabouts, anyway. But yeah, we may as well go through the first match of it. You see the team we're up against, it's quite ridiculous. And to be honest, this is every team pretty much I've got up against that. Some dirty SBC cards and a couple of icons. But yeah, this match starts off with me conceding an attack. The ball's with them from Lucas on the Raul's head. 1 0. And yeah, that doesn't stop there. Again, Lucas is cut in, lays off Eden Hazard, and he just carved that in as well. 2 0 in 10 minutes. And to make matters worse, Raiol's through here, somehow I don't win the tackle. He brings it back around and smacks it, passing the damage in the near post. But we're, we're fighters! We're in the 30th minute, we got a chance of our own, we cut it back to Vidal, who slotted home. But into the second half, another chance has opened up. I do the dumb dumb and move the keeper across. Think, try, thinking I was going to be smart and cover it. I, I've never really tried it. If, every time I try to move a keeper, I concede. But I seem to never score against people who move the keeper. So I tried it myself and yeah, it just happened. But now we're on attack of Verona again. Slide it through to Salah. This guy moves his keeper across, and uh, I was aware of it. I just rolled it near post. Now we've subbed on our flashback Ibra, who, as you can see, is unbelievable. But he's barely been on the field, and look at that, he's already just finessed it. Past the keeper, just like it's not. And now, you know, I'm feeling a comeback coming on. But a man cracks one in the top corner, and uh, there goes the hopes of that. In stoppage time, though, we've managed to feed the ball through to Dembele. I don't know if he moves his keeper there on purpose to let him score, or if he's just I assume they're gonna shoot across, but I get a goal, so even though I lost, we got some decent points for it. Rivals points, that is. Took a while for the team to probably click for me, and you know, we're still in Div 4. You know how that went last time. I was shit. There's the next match here, lost 5 2. Again, I had a really good team, but in this next game, he's also got Raul. He's a pretty strong team overall, with two decent red. Well, I suppose they're only 84 red, but Eric Bailly and Robertson for Champions cards. And yet, Raul opens this game off in the fifth minute. Raul scored a lot against me recently, hasn't he? Kinda like try him out. But yeah, we're on the attack here. Get the ball to Dembele. Crack a low shot at the keeper. It spills out the Firmino. He laps it up. And now I've got things going. A nice first touch from Firmino sets him away to have another shot. And he gets his brace, sending us 2 1 up. And now we've got Ebron again. I think it over the top. The left hand just runs for it. Pushes by a side. He is a monster. Just easily scores it. And we're 3 1 up. But then the pressure started coming on again. Xiao Cancelo of all people just scored from there on his weak foot and then they make matters worse Dries Mertens also on his left peg slaps it in the top corner and we're 3-3 but another bit of luck falls our way he tries to play out from the back Salah intercepts it chopping the fake shot finesses at home we're back in the lead but yeah even when we're in front we're never really in front are we? but yeah it's a 4-4 draw no real complaints this team is far better than mine that's the only excuse I can really use at the moment and the team wasn't even that much better, just had Raul. <laughs> but yeah, next couple of games here just be results again. Still not really winning matches, are we? But it'll, it'll come, hopefully. And yep, now we're on to some trading. You can see here we've picked up an inform Fabinho, the first inform, the 80s traded one, along with two of the Champions League Ericsons for similar prices. First of all, Fabinho, we got him for just under 160k, and we listed him for just under 190 which would be a really nice profit in the end if he sells for it, but it is a risk and it might take a little longer to sell, but we're going to make sure we try our best at least to make some bigger profits now. And these two Ericsons, this first one got for 152k, and I listed him up for 177, and this second one I got for 145, listed him up for a little bit cheaper, just so they're not the exact same price in the market, at 173k. And yet we will see if they'll sell later on. Another quick match there, where we finally pick up our first win, but no clips for it. I remember the match well, scored a tramp on a penalty, oh yes. And yeah, just a lot of matches here. But to be honest, when I'm in Div 4, it's all just too sweaty to actually get good clips. Especially with a team that only costs 250k and I'm not even that good to begin with. 
And after that one there, you can see I ended up getting relegated to the 5. Happy days. Which means next season we might actually be able to get some wins on the board. And yeah, kind of these last couple of games here. I know there was a lot that we're missing. But I was trying my best to get at least rank 2. Just so I can get some decent packs from it. But you know what, we're going to go through this match. Yeah, they're all a pretty strong team. But it's not the same sort of style as everyone else. It's a filthy 5 pack. You got Flashback Tevas in there. I think that's the baby version of Balak. But he's got Prime Ferdinand. But, 2 minutes in. Salah puts it on his left. Has a shot. But it's blocked, but it falls back to be the athlete twat in the top corner. And then we managed to sort of hold off for a bit, but eventually, come to the 40th minute, the ball finds its way to Tevez, and that makes it 1 1. A whipping across here with Dembele, and it somehow it ends up with Zlatan's head, and he's not missing it's on his head. He's not missing if he gets the ball, so it's not really. But, comments after that, Tevez equalizes again. No worries though, we're bowing in here at Sturridge, who we also subbed on. A big fake shot, there's still two players there. And then the time finesse. Into the side net on the other side. And then instead of conceding this time, we get another chance later on with our third super sub, Alexander Pato. He gets on the end of a Gulam's cross. And yeah, a nice 4 2 win there. I like this next match where we lost 7 6. But yeah, you can see the state of the team we're coming up against now, which is getting me thinking that I need this Gerard fast. So hopefully, in the next episode or two, we'll get closer and closer to him, eventually have the coins to make the purchase. And speaking of that, our three players from earlier have indeed sold on. Fabinho for 179. One Ericsson ended up relisting for 179 as well. And he sold for that despite not selling for 177 the first time. And the other one did sell for 173. So now with that team we're on 669k. And now we're under the rewards. But because I already know they're pretty shit. We're just going to go through like this quickly. I mean like DeMaio. Everyone wants that. But you know what they want more? Gary Medell. I'm making everyone jealous right now. Mega pack time. Finally got boards in this one. It is Neto, which in all honesty is decent. I mean, it's 84 rated, but in the next one, we're stripped back to new boards. It is Pedro Leon. But first 50k pack, we got boards again, thankfully. It's Talisso. And the last one, oh, we get a walkout. Who's it gonna be? Chile. Yep, Alexis Sanchez. I mean, that one there is actually a really good pack for 50k pack. We've got Ibra in there, Quaresma, Ruffier. A couple more 83s, a couple more 82s. I'm not gonna complain too much, though. We've got really good luck at the very start of this game. Could you do a couple of 81 double SBCs? Straight away, all very much my useless rare golds. The first one here, open up, it's actually quite decent. Sesc Fabregas, along with Joseph Martinez. And in the second one, we've got more boards. It's Japan, you already know who it is. It's Kagawa with Pizzi. And now, to finish the episode off, some more trading. You can see the three players I've picked up Fernandinho, Kyle Walker, and Philippe Coutinho. All the Champions League ones. The Coutinho got for 170k. I tried listing up for just under 200k overnight, see if you can sell for that. Fernandinho, 78.5k. Also, this is before the upgrades came out. What a way to go now. And again, overnight, 90k, just under. And then Kyle Walker, 160k paid for him. And I'm trying to get 190 from him. And now, just to add to that, we've picked up one more deal with those coins. You can see who it is there. I mean, 421k spent. Champions League, killing Mbappe. And we're going to try our best to get 510k out of them. That is a stretch, I have to say. I mean, it was a really good deal, but there were some going for 500k, 490k on the market at the time of this and that. But because overnight, you never really know. And if you don't sell for that, that's what, 60k profit, 65k profit on one card. And just after I listed that, I did list up my entire team to see what coins we left with. 36 items sold, we're back over a million coins, and there we have it. Then Bele, Arthur, Gulam, I made profit in all of them. Coutinho ended up dropping his price by about 10k-ish, but the Mbappe there... He sold for the 510. I had to drop Fernandinho by a couple K, but the Kyle Walker did sell on for the 190. So that was some unreal profit right there. So yeah, that's actually where we're going to end off this episode. We're back to 1 million 30k after doing that Firmino and Ibrahimovic SBC. So you know what? I'm quite happy with that. So yeah, as I say, that's where this episode is going to end. The next one will be out very soon and we'll feature yet another team that we're going to try out. I'll give you a quick clue. It involves flashback Ibrahimovic starting. So yeah, we've got that to look forward to. But yeah, just quickly before we go. If you enjoyed the video, it would be massively appreciated if you could drop a like on it. And if you haven't already, be sure to check out the online career mode. We've got more of that coming up very, very soon as well. Along with the Pro Club Road to Division 1, which is always fun. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. And I will see you next time.